Welcome back. A big military honor today, several decades after a Vermont soldier became eligible for it. WPTZ's Jack Thurston tells us that a World War I veteran is finally in the spotlight. Long time coming, huh? Yes, it is. Flora Bovat will treasure this Purple Heart. He was a great dad and a great soldier. Awarded posthumously to her father almost a full century after he suffered combat wounds. Great honor. I just wish he was here to see it. Army Corporal John DeMag of Essex, Vermont, fought in World War I in France, where in 1918 he was shot in the belly and leg, also injuring his head. At the time, he was awarded a badge known as the Wound Chevron. A sort of predecessor to the Purple Heart, but DeMag never exchanged his for this newer honor. My stepdaughter loves the internet. It was that online research, Corporal DeMag's son Fred tells us, that got the family thinking their dad was owed recognition. The DeMags turned to the office of Senator Bernie Sanders and the Vermont National Guard for help. I want to thank you for everything you put together for me. The commander of the Vermont Guard could not say how many other military personnel may have been eligible for Purple Hearts from service in World War I, but never received them. General Stephen Cray does believe there are others out there. I advocate for veterans in the state of Vermont. It's part of my job to, you know, to get those benefits that they've earned, you know, whether it's you know, health benefits or whatever, and this is just a part of that. Every day, every day should be a day where we thank uh, veterans, and it's never too late, and, and we can't say it enough. Corporal DeMag died in the 1950s after building a successful heavy equipment business back home in Vermont. Yeah. His son said he never talked much about his time in World War I. He didn't uh, want to uh, be in the limelight for it. But his children will be talking about this day and how proud they are of their father's service. In Montpelier, Jack Thurston, WPTZ.